Hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to Hash University. Today, I have decided to share a secret with you. A last secret, actually. In this video, I'm going to share the secret with you, explain what that secret is, and also, I'm going to share how to implement that secret. To live a successful and meaningful life all right so watch till end and hope you like it and you learn something out of it all right so let's get started the secret to success is rgb read good books wait 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 i know it's very old saying it's a cliche that oh read books but i'm going to break it down why reading is such an important aspect of success in any field to get you started a ceo of any company reads about one book per week think about it if you read one book a week how much knowledge and confidence you gain on a weekly basis reading is nothing but an exercise to your mind just like going to the gym or working out is to your body we are living in a world full of distractions right in such time we have to develop a habit to keep our focus to exercise our mental power to sit and engage ourselves in one task at a time and reading does all of that for you there are various benefits of reading obviously by reading you gain more knowledge reading builds your confidence reading improves your vocabulary Reading improves your creative thinking and creativity in general. Reading also lowers your anxiety. Reading also lowers your stress. Reading improves your heart health. There are a number of research articles which support all of these. So I hope by now you are convinced that reading is such an essential part of your success journey you have to read now wait let me tell you what to read what does it mean by a good book there are about 130 million books in the world right now and every year 2 million books are added to this pool and you have limited time we have 24 hours in a day and doesn't matter where whether you are a student businessman housewife or any other kind of work you are engaged in at the most you can get two to three hours out of those 24 hours to read so it's really important to pick something which helps you to do better in life that's what i mean by good books books which helps you to gain knowledge improve yourself in various areas in life so when i say good books i'm referring to books which motivate you adds to your knowledge and also makes you creative these books could be autobiographies biographies history books personal development and also subject specific if you are a doctor or you are you have some passion for anything say you have passion for traveling you can read travel based books there are different kind of books which books to choose this is my recommendation say you have two hours in a day to read that is 
about 14 hours in a week. Out of these 14 hours, I would recommend spending most of the time, about 70 to 80 percent of the time, reading knowledge based books. This could be biographies, inspirational, personal development, or any subject that is related to your profession or something that you are trying to improve in your life. This could be weight loss. This could be learning cooking. And then rest 20 to 30 percent of the time you should spend on reading for fun. Say science fiction books or horror stories or whatever you like. So just reading is not enough. You should focus on reading good books. So focus on reading self-help books more, the books which add to your knowledge base. And this is the material you should read first thing in the morning. Whether having a breakfast or waiting for someone, you can do that on your phone. The good thing about books in, in current times is you don't have to order and wait or even go to the library. There are a number of online sources. Even your public library is available online. You can read it on your tablet or your cell phone. And believe me, 30 minutes a day adds up. That's about 15 hours in a month. If you read consistently and you improve your reading speed as well, along with comprehension, we are looking at at least two books in a month. And when you look back at the end of the month, yeah, you read two books, you will feel confident. You, you learn something. You have something to discuss with people. So reading as a whole has various advantages. And this is the first step towards achieving success, towards uh, rushing towards success, I should say. And this is one of the metric that you should evaluate yourself. If you are a reader, consistent reader, it means you are progressing towards success. So I hope in this video, I was able to add some clarity to importance of reading and this secret to success, this lost secret of success, which needs to be revived in the current times. We need readers. Readers are leaders. Leaders are readers, as the saying goes. We need well-educated, well-informed, thinking individuals to have a peaceful society to live in. And by reading, you contribute towards that. All right. So to get you started, I'm going to propose a book here written by Mr. Shuk here. It's called You Can Win. Really small books, full of stories, really engaging. So let's get started with this book. And the good thing is you can get this book on Google. Just search You Can Win by Shuk Hera. You can put on your cell phone, a tablet, and you can read anywhere. That's the power of technology these days. Thanks for checking out. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.